Hieroglyphics are really, really tough to try and decipher. That's because they can mean four different things. So the main thing they can represent, here is my goose that I'm told looks like a duck. A goose can represent a goose. So you're talking about a goose. The other thing it can do is it can work as a determiner. So it can determine what another symbol means. So if you draw something stupid like that, and people think, what the hell does that mean? They'll look at the goose and think, oh, maybe it means a wing. So it's used as a determiner. And I'm pretty certain that the ancient Egyptian word for goose was not goose. However, the third way of deciphering hieroglyphics, uh, on hieroglyphs, I should say, is that it's, it represents the sound that the word starts with. So let's say the word in ancient Egyptian was goose. Goose can also stand for g. The final way is totally weird because it can just mean something totally different. So a goose uh, in some texts stands for knowledge or information. The Welsh word for to know is gubod. It actually comes from gwithbod um, in sort of medieval Middle Welsh. We still use that gwith part today. Gwithost means you know, although these days we just say writing gubod. And gwithon means we know. Again, usually we just say dunin gubod. What makes this even cooler is that the goith part, if I do this, goith means goose.